If you're like me, there's probably some weeknights when you just don't know what to make for supper and you don't even feel like making supper. So in those kinds of situations, I need to have some things in my pantry, a couple ingredients in the refrigerator that I know I can make a quick meal out of. And so today I'm gonna to show you one of those meals. It's a Southwestern spicy black beans and corn. And then I'll tell you what you can do with it after you've made it. So I've already heated up a couple tablespoons of oil and I'm going to add one red pepper that I've chopped up, a red bell pepper, and one half cup of red onion, and one jalapeno pepper because I like heat and I even keep the seeds in it to add extra heat. And then I'll just saute this for a couple minutes and then I'm going to add a few cloves of garlic that I've minced up and some spices. I've got one tablespoon of chili powder, a tablespoon of ground cumin, and a tablespoon of oregano. How easy is that to remember? And I'm gonna give the oregano just a little pinch as I let them into the skillet so that it releases some of those flavorful oils. I'm gonna mix this up and just let that garlic saute for about a minute. And then I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of fresh lime juice and one can of black beans that I've rinsed and drained. I always have at least a couple cans of black beans in my pantry because there's so many things you can do with it. And one cup of frozen corn. I've let this spa so it's not frozen anymore, but it came right out of the freezer. And I'll just season it with a little bit of coarse salt and a little bit of freshly ground black pepper. And I'm gonna stir this and let it heat through. This is delicious, served over baked spaghetti squash. Put some fresh chopped tomatoes over the top, maybe a little bit of cheddar cheese if you like that, some cilantro, maybe some chopped avocado, and you're ready to go. You can also use this as a taco filling with all your other favorite taco toppings. It's wonderful and it takes just minutes. So you've got a meal in minutes, not only a meal in minutes, but a really healthful meal. I'm Sue Doden sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.